Matt McCutcheon, uh, yesterday it seems like we were still in search mode. A lot of people are trying to connect their own dots because when you hear that two girls are missing and then later you hear that two bodies have been found, and this is a small town of less than 3,000 people, a lot of people are here are assuming the worst here this morning. I wonder if you up to speed here on what we are expecting here in the day ahead. Hopefully some answers because it's what so many people here in this community are desperate for this morning, especially as they hug their children and send them off to school. In the day ahead, we are expecting autopsy to be performed at 8 o'clock this morning in southern Indiana. From there, we should get a lot of information. That includes how those two people died because that's something also we do not know yet from police here in this area. We are also expecting to learn the names of those two victims as well. That again, expected here later today. And then the other big question right now, people in Delphi wondering, is there a killer among us? That's something we're also waiting to learn from police. Information about a suspect or suspects, who they could be looking for and what may have happened. Drone Cam 13 flew over the scene, this large search scene that police had cornered off yesterday. This is in an area around the Deer Creek and a cemetery here just outside of Delphi. You can tell the large police presence there, evidence technicians as well, trying to learn anything they can from that scene to learn additional information about how these two people died. That's what we're expecting to learn here throughout the day and the days to come here in Delphi as this community really just continues to grieve over what has happened and so many strangers just really relying on one another to try to find out additional information. And you know, Matt, I remember yesterday, this time yesterday morning, it, there wasn't a sense of urgency. There wasn't an amber alert because police said they there was no reason to believe the girls had been abducted or were in danger. We heard from one of their grandfathers who really just said, yeah, they're teens, you know, they're good kids, but we think we'll probably hear from them. Had they heard anything at all from the girls? Everybody just so wanted to hope for the best mm -hmm. and, and not fear for the worst. So that's something we also expect to learn more about when things kind of change, because as you mentioned, police originally not suspecting foul play. That we do know has changed. The family says they last heard from the two around 2.30 in the afternoon using Snapchat. Later that afternoon on Monday, they did not come home. And around 5.30, that's when they called police. So things quickly took a turn between 2.30 mm -hmm. and 5.30 30 on Monday. Again, part of the investigation the police are so desperately hoping to find more information about. All right, Matt, thanks so much for your work.